subscapers and welcome to Eyes of Glaffrey quest guide. The quest requirements are the Grand Tree and it is recommended but not a must to have Fairy Tale Part 2 or 3 completed to use Fairy Rings. The skill requirements are 46 magic and 5 construction. The item requirements are a long ranged weapon such as a halberd for melee, short bow for ranged and a staff for magic. Equip the weapon and remember to bring runes or ammo if you are using magic or ranged. Put on armor according to your combat style to boost your accuracy. Bring one crowned mud rune. It is made by right clicking a mud rune, a maple log, an oak log, an empty bucket, a knife. Tool belt works too. It is recommended to bring a draymen staff if you have completed Fairy Tale Part 2. If you have done Part 3, it is not needed and have as many free inventory slots as possible. The recommended unlocks are Lowstones to Caterby, Eagle's Peak and Yanil. Have some quick teleport charges from using Wizbacks to speed things up. And lastly, there are 6 enemies with 1 life point each. Let's go! To start off, use the Lowstone to Caterby. We must do this step to get a bucket of sap and you need an empty bucket and knife in your tool belt. Go east and look for evergreens. Use your empty bucket to the evergreen and you will get a bucket of sap. Use the lowest on the eagle's peak and now we will start the quest. Use the nearest agility shortcut. If you can't, go south and use the next agility shortcut to your east and go through the gate. When you get through, go to the southern tunnel entrance. You can see it on your minimap. Enter it. Talk to Primstale. Option 1. Option 1 Option 1 Accept the quest Go to the western room and to your south click on the singing bowl To your north, click on the Oaknox machine and click on the Oaknox exchanger right next to it. Go east and talk to Primstale. Option 1. Option 1 Fastest way to the next NPC is to use the Yaniel Lodestone and use the fairy rings with the code CLS. If you can't, use the Lodestone to Yaniel and run east all the way to the little island. When you get near the building, climb up the ladder. Talk to Hazelmere and you will get many cutscenes which will take multiple minutes. So sit back and keep that spacebar on.
To get to the next NPC, use the equals speak lodestone. Run east or go around the lower level agility shortcut. Go through the same tunnel as previously. Talk to Primstill. Option 1. Use the ground mud rune to the bucket of sap to get magic clue. Use the magic clue to the oak nox exchanger. Click on it to repair it. Go east back to Primstale and talk to him. Option 1. Drop your discs and keep on talking with Primstale. Choose the option 1 and repeat this around 10 times. And each time before talking to him, drop the discs. You can use your area load to pick up everything when you are done. And the more you do this, the easier the quest will be. So I would really recommend taking a couple of minutes to do this because it will help a lot. When you're done, use the area loot or pick up the discs one by one from the ground. Go west to the machines. Click on the center machine and you will get your first puzzle. The number will be different for you, but the picture on the top left is correct. For me, it was a six, so my solution was an orange triangle on the top left picture. If you don't have the right discs, click on the Oaknox exchanger to your east and put in a disc that you know you will not use. The first solution doesn't really matter, just put anything in and get a disc that resembles the number that the puzzle wants. Click on the arrows in the center to change the discs you get and when you are done, click on the green light. Solve the first puzzle by clicking on the right disk and inserting it to the machine. Click on the machine to get the next puzzle, which is the last one. The first top solution is just one disk, 
middle is two discs and bottom is three discs. The math problems are different for you and I would recommend writing down the discs that you will use so you don't accidentally turn them into other discs with the Oaknox exchanger. I will recommend first making the top puzzles one disc and writing it down so you don't make it into different discs. Then solve the bottom puzzle which has three discs. Write down all of the discs that you will use. And lastly solve the middle puzzle which has two discs. Good luck, I will get back to you when we are done. And the instructions are on the screen.
When you are done, you will get a cutscene. Talk to Primstale. Option 1. Kill the nearby creature. We need to kill six different creatures. Climb back through the tunnel entrance. Go southeast to the entrance of Three Gnomes Stronghold, but do not use the gate. Kill the enemy near the gate. Go north and you will see the next creature next to the spirit tree. Kill the creature next to the spirit tree and continue to north. Go through the door, but do not climb up yet. Kill the enemy. Right click the ladder and select top floor. Kill the creature. Make sure to wait for the chat response to say that you have killed the enemy. Right click the ladder, select bottom floor, exit through the door and go northwest. Near the giant tortoises in the pen, there is the enemy. Kill it. Go southeast, back to the Grand Tree. Go through the door and talk to King Narnord. Congratulations. Keep the small crystal seed. It is needed for a Path of Cloughry quest. The discs are used in Path of Cloughry quest, so it is up to you if you want to destroy them or keep them. You can obtain the discs later by using the drop trick method. Remember to leave a like, comment or subscribe, and see you in the next one.